Hey guys, hey guys, welcome again to yet another session of our weekly videos here at Primus Learning. Excited to meet you again. Thanks for your commitment. Thanks for joining us again uh, once more. Today, our topic will be simple. It's a simple topic and we are here to just help you in your IT journey to help you uh, develop a good you know, working uh, environment, a comfortable IT environment. We're here to enable you to get the best out of your job. And so today, the topic of our, uh, this video is um, the daily activities of a DevOps engineer. What does a DevOps engineer do every day? So this video may help you. Maybe you've been wondering, you've been trying to get into DevOps and you're confused what what DevOps is all about, why DevOps even, what's this all about? Here we got you guys. So the daily activities of a DevOps engineer is a topic for our discussion today. So what does a DevOps engineer do um, every day? What do I do when I get to my job? When, what do I do when I get to my desk? First thing I do when I get to my desk is to check my emails to see if i have any tickets because my tickets are usually attached to my email guys and so i check my inbox to see if i have any tickets that have come through maybe there's something that is that is an emergency and i need to jump on it maybe there is this production thing that's failed and it's not working and i need to jump on it and and, and remedy the situation that is the first thing i do so i get in check my email to see if there's any urgency anything that I need to do, very first thing. So some other things that DevOps engineers uh, do include they work on their deployment workflows. So DevOps engineers will typically set up uh, deployment workflows, right, such that there can be deployment happening from a dev environment through a QA environment, through a maybe staging environment, a production environment, call it, Another, there are so many different names that people give their environments, test environments, and so on and so forth. So you want to build a workflow that helps in deployment. You know, that helps the deployment process in your environment. That's one of the activities of DevOps engineers. Another thing is that DevOps engineers will typically attend DevOps uh, Scrum meetings. So you, they typically have daily meetings Scrum meetings where they come together, talk about what they did yesterday, talk about what uh, you're doing today and what you know, you'll be doing all through the day. And hey, if you have a blocker or something that's blocking you from achieving your tasks, that's where it's solved. If it can't be solved, it's sent over to your managers or to whoever needs to make sure that the thing is solved. So the first thing is, checking your emails. The second thing is working on your deployment workflows. The third thing is attending DevOps uh, Scrum meetings. Another thing that I do uh, in my day-to-day -day activities uh, includes building continuous integration and deployment pipelines. So that's one of the major tasks of DevOps engineers, gu engineers guys. So DevOps engineers build pipelines, data pipelines, or it could be application pipelines, right? For instance, they're building these with tools like Jenkins. They're building these with tools like GitHub Actions, uh, Circle uh, CI. They're building with tools like AWS tools such as maybe Code Deploy, Code Pipeline, Code Build, and so on and so forth. So AWS uh, or DevOps engineers, sorry, I'm going back to AWS. DevOps engineers help build this continuous integration and deployment pipelines. That's one of their activities. Another thing that DevOps engineers do, guys, in their daily activities include they monitor applications using tools like Prometheus, Datadog, Splunk, and many other tools, Cloud uh, Watch, and so on and so forth. These are tools that are used to monitor applications and make sure that the applications are running uh, correctly. Make sure there is no 
uh, interference, uh, no cybersecurity interference. Make sure the application is, you know, is is resilient. Make sure the application is not running out of resources. Make sure CPU utilization is okay. Make sure everything is working perfectly. So they monitor applications, make sure the status of applications is okay and not maybe something is failing. So DevOps engineers monitor applications using tools that help in this monitoring process. That's the fifth thing. The sixth thing, I think the fifth, I'm mixing it up here. Anyway, let's let's just say it's the, the sixth thing. The sixth thing that DevOps engineers do is that they enhance the deployments to different environments such as dev, QA, and staging. I think we mentioned this earlier. So sometimes your workflows may not be working well. Sometimes somebody makes a, a change and you, in, in, in the version control environment and you need to get that, that change over. Maybe you need to uh, trigger the change manually because of something, or maybe somebody commits a code into GitHub and you need to build maybe a new environment where that, 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 that code needs to be deployed. Those are some of the things that you will face uh, day to day. And then DevOps engineers also build strategies, right? They build strategies for continuous integration on deployment. Sometimes you go to an environment and they, they currently are deploying just in one environment, maybe in a dev environment, and they want to move to production. What else needs to be done? Hey, they need maybe a QA environment that needs to be built. You need a, a staging environment and so on. So you need to devise a strategy through which code will leave the dev environment or once code leaves the developers, it will pass through your dev environment, go through your QA environment and tests are done on it. And after that, the process of it moving from QA to st a staging environment and the process of it moving to production. So DevOps engineers help strategize, they help build a strategy around how code will move from one environment or how a product will move from one environment to the next. And how this is generally done. Will your deployments be continuous? Will your deployments be in a delivery fo format? how your, your deployments generally should look. Those are some of the things that a DevOps uh, engineer does. So they also monitor applications to make sure they are working as expected. Um, they may do some things like scripting stuff out. They may do some things like terra building some Terraform things because they need to deploy things around. They need to maybe install uh, some features, install applications, install things that they would use. Uh, these are some of the things that DevOps engineers do, guys. But overall, they are in charge of deploying applications, making sure the users out there have access to that application, making sure the users are able to see that the application is working. Maybe it's a new feature. You make sure that new feature is brought to the users. Guys, those are some of the core things that DevOps engineers do. Uh, these things sometimes change, right, depending on the environment. Some environments, DevOps engineers will do a lot more things than this, while in other environments, they may do less things than what we've, we've described. It's all depending on where you're working, what type of environment you're working, but typically, these are the major things that uh, DevOps engineers will take care of. Thank you so much, guys, for watching today's video. Uh, catch you again next uh, time for another interesting video. This is Primo's uh, Learning signing off.